that I'm coming here with a brief screencast about my prototype project for digital design. The concept of the prototype project is to think of something in one of your classes that needs to be improved and find a unique way using digital technology to improve it. So what I decided to focus on is our World Cultures History class. Um, we focus a lot on geography of the class, on how geography influences people in regions. So I was thinking about how we do a lot of making maps and the sources we use. Um, it's very tedious to go through a lot of sources and do all the work. So I was thinking, what if there's one really accurate map that had all the information so that we were able to make a really quick and easy map and we wouldn't have to go through the tedious process of looking through sources. So that's what I did. This is just a brief website that explains all of that. And here's the link to where I need to go. So over here is the link. Just hold on a second. And if you open this up, you'll be able to see that this is my map. It's a 3D model. And over here, the text reads, Welcome to a new and improved map of Southeast Asia, meant to make copying down maps much easier. All countries' names will be in white, capitals will be marked by a red star, and all cities will be marked with two buildings. Feel free to explore and click on stars and dots to learn more. So I have marked a lot of geographic regions. I have start stuff such as the Gobi Desert, the Tibetan Plateau, and all the jungles in the more eastern and southern parts. And I labeled all capital cities, all major cities. All country names will be in white, as that said over there. Then I have bodies of water in yellow. I have islands name, island names in yellow. And I have some cities in yellow if it is challenging to see them if I make it another color. So if you want to click on some capitals, um, you'll be able to see that a little text blurb will appear. And all the, um, the major cities are marked in black circles and the capitals are marked in red. So that makes it easy to tell where cities are. And that's basically a brief overview of my map. If you want to visit it, here's the link right here. You can just pause and take a screenshot of it. And yes, thank you for spending your time to watch this video.